I'm Rebecca Holmes. I wrote uh, the story, a little bit of the coding, but yeah, for the most part, just kind of creating the story, researching, writing the game mechanics, and uh, just the whole story. I grew up in like the Twilight era. When I was a kid, I've like mainly just read fantasy books. That's always been a fascination of mine, and I've been really excited to be able to to be able to write in that. It's a fantasy thriller visual novel. It's like a book that's been gamified is kind of how I, I feel about it. It's the story, you're reading the story, um, but we have all these mechanics with it. We have beautiful art, music, like it's very immersive. So it's kind of this like next level merging of like a book and a game. Werewolf the Apocalypse Purgatory uses uh, W5, the new World of Darkness Werewolf the Apocalypse manual. So I've read through it multiple times. I really wanted to incorporate some of the new mechanics, um, really make sure we're getting the different tribes, the auspices. One of kind of the big parts of this one is incorporating Hirano, which is kind of this werewolf despair. So that's like a major new mechanic that we have that I wanted to incorporate. I really went wild with uh, just trying to incorporate as many kind of like creatures and monsters using the, the W5 um, as I could. Samira is our main protagonist. She grew up amidst this like werewolf community, but the the war has happened, um, the Taliban's taken over. And so she's been forced to flee with her brother. And so the story starts where they're, they're stuck at the border of Poland and Belarus. And it's her trying to get across this border um, and uh, escape to Poland and to safety where her aunt, um, her like, relative lives that's kind of where the story starts and then it goes from there she's dealing with this like Hirano, this like despair this depression which kind of makes her takes away some of that like power that she had before but then it's her constantly struggling to get that back and to to deal with these conflicts that arrive and so that is that is kind of this like cool moment when the player is able to fight back and uh, actually do something about like her circumstances. So one of the mechanics is that the player's choices affect the relationships. So the player can essentially either make friends or enemies of the different people she meets. Um, and that in turn affects like um, the gameplay. So maybe if she's friends, they're more willing to help out. If she's an enemy, they won't or they'll act against her. The mechanics from the Heart of the Forest are all still in the game. But yeah, so there's still rage, there's health, willpower. Um, and then we just added on, so there's now. Piranha is one of the major mechanics. You have gifts, you have skills, which are taken from the W5. Players can use throughout the game and kind of have like alternate paths with that. And then there's also clues. So like as the player investigates, there's two separate stories. So that's kind of a big, big major part of the game. Game uh, uh, branches into two completely different stories that end completely different. It's very similar in terms of the style, in terms of kind of the general feel of this kind of supernatural, dark feeling. My own impressions from the art, the differences between the two is that the first one I felt had a very, it was um, set in summertime, so it was very kind of green and psychedelic and a bit like aloof and mysterious, you know? And then I think for this one, it's very like a little more gritty and dark and like, um, cause it's, it's mainly set during the winter time. And so it's got, the art has kind of more of like these darker colors and vibes. I wanted to continue a bit with Heart of the Forest. So the first half is in Warsaw, then it goes to Białowieża Forest. So I really wanted to continue that, but also show a different aspect. So like I said, the, the previous game is like in summer and then this game is in winter. And I kind of wanted to have this shift in the feeling. For Warsaw, I actually traveled to Warsaw. So I um, I had been there before and then um, I traveled again during the game research process to see the places that are in the game and kind of get a better feel for them. Um, I think for me, it's like dealing with like depression and dealing with stuff like that. I think it is this constant like struggle to uh, just keep pushing forward and keep finding the struggle and the fight and the good, you know, amidst all this like 
chaos and suffering. I kind of wanted to show that where it, it's a never ending battle, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a lost battle. Like you're winning still within that, you know, and you have these moments where maybe at the end of it, they, they don't win the whole war, who knows, but, but they're still winning and saving people and helping people within that kind of this, like, they're doing what they can, essentially, like within their own world. You know, obviously, I want people to enjoy it. <laughs> One, the game is like very branching, has all these like multiple facets and branches. And, you know, majorly, there's two major, completely different storylines. So I think, you know, hoping players obviously play both. Um, but then also within that, just having completely different experiences. So. You know, maybe one path is, you know, darker than the other. Yeah, I hope people can kind of play the game and um, just take their different paths and enjoy it and resonate, you know, maybe with Samira's story, with the other characters' stories. And I think also, too, just learning more about, uh, like, this this crisis that's, that's happening and understanding, you know, these perspectives of these people that are going through this and just learning more about that. Enjoy the game. I just really hope people have fun with it. I really hope it's uh, a diverse and multifaceted enough experience that everyone can kind of find a, a, a part of it that they enjoy.